54% of you all, more than half the students in this room will fail to graduate from Missouri State. At least that's what the Department of Education defined what you are all capable of. On a separate note, I'm sure that most of you have heard that nearly one in three marriages end in divorce. Well, it's actually closer to 38% according to the last consensus done in 2014, but nevertheless, up to 200 in nine of the future husbands and wives will experience a crippling divorce and over 300 of you will not see graduation. So who will it be? Which one of you are willing to announce that quite possibly your own idiosyncrasies and imperfections will allocate for a failed marriage and failed college career? Don't know volunteer at once. And yet, here I am, a person with many failures and immense imperfections, and I am not willing to be part of this statistic. And this is normal, because as human beings, we don't yearn for failure or despair. Instead, you and I are all capable and effervescent human beings worthy of success and happiness. So then how does this happen? I firmly believe that the ethical division between full potential and inadequacy lies with taking responsibility for your actions. For me, this looks like not letting mere labels and the environment in which I came define me and what I'm capable of. For you, it may look a little bit different. Today, I want to show you some of the ill effects that your responsibility has on our lives and on others. But more importantly, persuade you all to be responsible, because it will lead to greatness, ultimately. In order to understand such success, you must first realize some of the deficits that your responsibility has in our a study at the University of Chicago in October of 2016 stated that 10 to 15% of elementary and middle school students were chronically absent, missing anywhere from 10 to 20 days of school per school year. And this is incredible because it initiates a mindset in that student that says, I do not need to be responsible for the hardships in college and in elementary school whenever my parents will just go. And so let's fast forward and look at some of the repercussions this could have on those future students. In September of 2016, Sarah Goldrick, a professor of higher education policy at Temple University, writes about this future. Where 3,000 students were previously given Pell Grants fresh out of high school, where they were ambitious and ready to take on college and the world by whatever means necessary. Yet, as the study concluded six years later, they found that less than half of them held a degree of any kind. And this is a problem, because it is a direct product of this mindset that says, I don't need to be responsible for the hardships in life and in college. And often these look like small decisions we make on a daily basis, like choosing to sleep in a couple days a week to your 8 a.m. classes because you simply stay up until 3 a.m. playing video games. It's irresponsible. Choosing to um, hang out with your friends and party a day before the exam really should study is irresponsible. And even the extreme of posting nonsense and profanities on social media is irresponsible in the sense that it can be viewed by your future employers and by future college admitting committees that will then limit where you can go and who you can be employed by. These small decisions of irresponsibility often affect others that we don't often think about. For instance, like choosing to use birth control or contraceptive methods irresponsibly. It leads to a birth of an illegitimate child who is forced into a life without a mother or a father. And this is a problem because the parents aren't financially able to take care of the child and aren't even responsible sometimes to care about its well-being. But more importantly, this child has initiated life with an instability of moral and ethical upbringings. And sometimes this can predestine that child to have a less successful life than the rest of us. Something that shocked me was what the American Journal of Health Behavior said in 2016 in September, that 21.1% of children in foster care are addicted to drugs or smoking cigarettes. And I can't help but ask myself, is this how I, Jacob Trammell, want my children to turn out? And it keeps me up at night. Because I've seen what it looks like whenever irresponsibility affects children. I've been in the hospital where I work. Or unfortunately, I've witnessed when two newly founded parents weren't responsible for a two-month-old little girl. And they didn't know who she was in proximity to her truck as they were backing it up. 
and this is hard to say without going into too much detail, it needs to be mentioned that you can't do normal life saving measures on it. You can't even do normal CPR, you have to use two fingers. Otherwise, you'll crush the chest wall of the baby. But in this situation, in this tragedy, it was a form. But this doesn't have to be you. And I proclaim to you today that the mere labels or the environment from which you came do not have to define what you are capable of so long as you are responsible. And in order to understand responsibility, we must first know what it means, and Webster's Dictionary does this concretely. Where responsibility is the state or fact of being responsible, answerable, or accountable for something within one's own power, control, or management. As students, this looks like not only showing up to class, but taking notes and being cognitive during our teachers' lectures and trying our best to get the highest grade possible. As co-workers, this looks like going above and beyond what our managers ask us to do, even though it might be a mundane task. And in relationships, this looks like not only being responsible for the fruits of that relationship, but also for the well-being of someone else. And I love this about college, because we were given such an immense responsibility of choosing our passions in our future. Right now is the most important time in our lives to really be aware and really be responsible. And I want to tell what uh, our current president, Cliff Smart, said in a speech in August 2016. He said that responsibility is a willingness to change and to dig in and to find out what works. And if something doesn't work, to abandon it and find something. This means that if your major, your passion in college right now isn't the last thing you think about before you go to bed, or the first thing that comes to mind when you wake up in the morning, then it is your responsibility to do something about that, because that does not lead to greatness. So you can either explore and change your major, find something that you can't live without, or rather recommit yourself to something that you might have been lost to before. And this comes with power because we can choose our future and the generations that come after us. And this is great. With this responsibility comes the power to change our nation. And in despite of this previous election, which statistically half of you were still upset about, I want to remind us all what our former president FDR once said. He said, let us not seek the Republican or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past, let us accept our own responsibility for the future. And this is great because you as students, so long as you're responsible with voting and participating with politics, can change the future in ways that right now might seem hard to imagine, but will ultimately affect everyone. And this power is great and will lead you to success. I implore you all right now to think about some of the limitations that you set up yourself some of the excuses that you currently give to those. In conclusion, I want to mention that every decision in this life has its consequence. Choosing to skip class every now and then, not take notes, or maybe not really give your full potential anywhere in life, with school, with your job, with your family, are only intrinsic limitations that you set on yourself. We need to set a higher standard for ourselves on a daily basis so that we may take on this world by storm and show them what we are capable of. So instead of participating or elongating in the statistical data about college dropout rates or divorce rates, we should instead be accountable and responsible for our actions and be aware of what's going on. Otherwise, who else or what else are you going to let take control of your life? Take control. Be disciplined. And lastly, be responsible because you guys are all worth it. Thank you.